you know, a lot of businessmen got in charge. And a lot of businessmen, the way this society works is it's, it's hard to make money with talents. And it's become increasingly so. They pretty much set up the school system, you know, off Adorno and, and uh, the, the F, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the Frankfurt School is the model for university campuses nowadays, even Christian ones now. They bankrupted. Christian campuses went bankrupt. And now they're using the Frankfurt model to get funding. Someone is like, I'll loan you this money, but you have to use the Frankfurt model. And the Frankfurt model is a brainwashing system. It is a brainwashing system. Adorno and the uh, Frankfurt School came out of Germany, Nazi Germany. Hitler sent them over here. They were supposedly communists. We trusted that. First thing they did was do an S scale test to see how likely it was that we they could that fascism would would take hold in America. Oh, oh, we're just doing it to see see make sure we can prevent it. No, no. In the sixties, they that's when the, the Frankfurt School started being implemented. Pretty certain. And uh, you know, uh, people started raising hell about it. In Berkeley, and what did they do? By bayonet, we're going to stop them. Now, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm not against Republicans. You know? But that was some stupid shit. You know? <clears throat> and, uh, so, the Franker School, I mean, you, you go in there, <clears throat> if, you've, if you've got an aptitude for a, for a subject... If you've got an aptitude for a subject and you've studied and you studied it during high school and you've learned a lot about it, you're not one of those, you know, academic whiz kids that, you know, went to college at 15, you know, was, you know, good in all areas. But you had an aptitude for a particular subject. It was your talent. You had an aptitude for a particular subject and you studied it and you knew some things about it. And then you go into your freshman classes and they tell you stuff that you know isn't true. So you're like, wait a minute. Uh, that's the little, and they're like, teachers like, no, 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 you know, you know, and they'll, and you're not going to get along with the teacher. And the teacher's going to make it so frustrating for that student that the kid's going to have to switch majors. There's something he's not talented at. And then when the when the soft junior classes come along, teachers will say, well, stuff we taught you, stuff they told you in the first. To some, or even sophomore class, stuff they taught you in the first two semesters, some of that stuff's not true, we just do that to whatever excuse, I can't remember, uh, and now we're, you know, now we're going to, you know, tell you, you know, the real deal. The real reason they do that is to weed out people who have talents in the field. They don't want people using talents in the field. They want to train people. They don't want people who have aptitudes. They don't want people using their talents. Because it's a fucking anti-Christian society. It's a society that wants to mock God entirely. In every sense. Uh, so nobody, you know, they don't want you functioning in your talents. They don't want you making money in your talents. The whole, there's a stigma that if you, if you're doing work you enjoy, then you ain't really working. You ain't earning a living. And, and they're enforcing that. You know, that's why the arts are dying. You know, the businessmen got in control of the record companies and, and in charge of art and everything else. And what do they do? They hate artists. 